Hello everybody, welcome to Downstairs with Daddy. I'm Jackson Flowers and this is... John Flowers. Today we're going to paint the birdhouse that we built a couple of months ago. That's right. Uh, like Jackson said, we built this birdhouse a couple months ago and you know what, it's been sitting in the basement and I think it's about time that we put it in the backyard and let the birds have their way with it. So. We got white and, and we got purple. purple. So since purple is Jackson's favorite color, we figured we would paint majority of the birdhouse purple and we'll paint the front white just as a, I guess a focal point so the birds can actually see it. Yeah. We're gonna start this process now. So Jackson, let me ask you this question. Well, let me ask you a couple questions. What is this? Um, something that you can stir the paint with. Right, it's, it's a paint stick. Question number two, what is this stuff? Tape. But what kind of tape? A uh, worker's tape. Worker's tape, but what kind of worker? Uh, <laughs> uh, it's easy, what are we doing right now? We're, paint, we're, making a, we're uh, painting a birdhouse. So what kind of tape is this? Paint tape. Painter's tape. Painter's tape. So painter's tape, everybody, you probably know, you use painter's tape when you're painting inside the house. Uh, Walls, you don't want this, you don't want, if you're painting the wall red and the ceiling is white, you don't want the white ceiling to get any of the red, you'll use this tape to actually lay down certain areas of the ceiling so that the red doesn't spill in. So we're going to do the same thing for the birdhouse because we want the birdhouse to look nice and neat. We don't want it to look sloppy. We want the birds to look at this house and be like, yo, this house is fly by G. We're going to apply the painter's tape right now and uh, I'm going to show Jackson how we're going to do it. Since this is going to be the white part, we only want this part to be painted, right? So we're going to take this painter's tape and hopefully it sticks good. And we are going to put some so that we don't get any of the white paint on the side. And why are we putting it here? So it doesn't get on top of the roof. Exactly. So you want to try? Mm-hmm. Take a piece. Let me see how you apply it. supplies. Unfortunately with the coronavirus and the amount of times you have to go to Home Depot to get supplies, we're just going to paint out of the bucket. I had no time to run to Home Depot to go get any of those, those paint trays. So um, we're going to take a little bit of this paint just to get a feeling of what this paint looks like. See how we wipe some of the paint off the brush before we apply it? Mm -hmm. Just just start painting. We don't, we don't put a lot of paint on a brush. Why we don't put a lot of paint on the brush? Um, Why do you think? Because then it'll make like big blobs. Right, it'll make big blobs and then it'll leak all over the place and we don't want to make a mess. So, so do you want to try? I'll bring the paint can a little closer.
mean triple beam. Yeah. I'm gonna take a little dinner break. I let this first coat dry. Come black, come back rather, right. and apply another one. See you guys in a little bit. Thank you. 